In today's video, I'm going to show you three different ways to add a curves adjustment in Photoshop. I'll show you how to add contrast, remove contrast, and also how to alter the colors using a split toning effect. Before I show each of these methods, let's first talk about how to add a curves adjustment to an image. One way you could add a curves adjustment is by going up to Image, Adjustments, Curves. Now this method works, but now I'll just quickly add a simple adjustment here. Once I click OK, that adjustment is burned into my background layer, so I can't go back and make changes to it. I prefer to keep my edits while working in Photoshop as non-destructive as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and undo that. And instead, I'm going to access the Adjustments panel. If you don't see that panel active, go up to Window, Adjustments, and you'll also want to make sure that you have that Properties panel open as well. So the better way to add a Curves adjustment is to go up to that Adjustment layer and then click on the Curves icon. The first method I'm going to show you is how to add contrast. Another common phrase for this type of curve that I'm going to show you is an S-curve. I'm in the Layers panel. I'm just going to go ahead and rename this layer. I just double-clicked over that text there, and I'll type S-curve in there just so I know which one I'm working on. Next, I'll go up to the Properties panel to start making the adjustments. Now, the way that this curve works is anything that's moved up to the top left quadrant is going to brighten the image, and if you move it down to the lower right quadrant, it's going to darken it. It's basically split in half diagonally, so any points moved up towards that top left triangle is going to brighten that section, and anything moved down to the lower right triangle is going to darken it. I also like to work in the top right and bottom left quadrants. The top right quadrant is going to affect the highlights, and the bottom left quadrant is going to affect the shadows. So to add contrast, we want to brighten the highlights and darken the shadows. So I'm going to click in this top right highlights section, and I'm going to drag it up towards that left triangle, which is going to increase the brightness in those highlighted areas. Then in the lower left quadrant, I'm going to click and drag it down, which will darken the shadows in the image. Now if I toggle this layer on and off, you can see it's added a nice touch of contrast to the image, and that is a very basic S-curve. Now let's add a curves adjustment that is going to reduce the contrast to the image. This is commonly referred to as a matte look. In the Layers panel, I'm going to go ahead and just click on that eyeball, which hides the S-curve layer I just created. I'll go back up to my Adjustments panel, add another Curves adjustment. Now to add the matte look, it's very simple. Take the bottom left point and drag it up. And if you'd like, you can also take that top right point and drag it down. Now if I were to keep going and move this all the way to the middle, I basically just have a flat image. I have, well, there's really nothing there. It's basically just gray. But this is why when you have an image with low contrast, it can be referred to as flat. I mean, if you look at it, that line is just a flat line right across there. So let's move things back to where they were. And now I'm just gonna toggle that on and off real quickly so you can see how that looks. And while we're at it, let's just go ahead and rename this one to matte. Now as a bonus, you can actually incorporate uh, more than one type of curves adjustment inside of just one curves adjustment layer. So on this matte layer, I can go in and add a subtle S-curve. So let me do that. I'll click in that top right quadrant and drag it up. Click in the bottom left quadrant and drag it down. And now if I toggle that on and off, I kind of have a mix of the two. I have a little bit of contrast, but also I flatten those blacks and also some of those whites as well. Now in this last type of curves adjustment, I'm going to show you how to alter the color in a photograph and basically add a split toning effect. 
Let's go ahead and hide the visibility of that matte layer, go back up to the adjustments, and add a new curves adjustment. If I were to click on this RGB dropdown, I have three different options, red, green, and blue. I'll go ahead and click on red so you can see what that curve looks like, and you can see it automatically changed it to a red curve line. As a refresher, let's quickly discuss how each of these colors work when it comes to light and photography. So with this red curve, the top left triangle represents red and the bottom right triangle is cyan. So if I were to move the center point towards the left, it's going to change the entire image and add a red color to it. And then moving it to the bottom right is going to add a cyan adjustment. If I were to change it to green, this quadrant is going to be green. And if I move it to the bottom right, it's going to go magenta. I'm just resetting it there real quickly. Now let's go down to blue. The top left triangle is going to be blue if I move it towards that. And the bottom right is going to be yellow. Now when you're working with split toning, you don't want to change the entire color of the image. You want to split it between the shadows and the highlights. So on this curves line here, the bottom left area is going to affect the shadows and the top right area is going to affect the highlights. So just inside of this red curve, if I wanted to do a red cyan split, all I would need to do is drag the highlights point towards the left and just slide it against that top and that pushes a little bit of red into those highlights. And then if I take that bottom left point and slide it to the right, I've added cyan to the shadows. I'll go ahead and toggle this on and off. And if I'm looking at this and I see maybe a little bit too much green in the shadow areas, well, I can fix that. Let's go ahead and click on that drop down and go to green. Now, because the opposite of green is magenta, I want to add magenta to those shadow areas. So I'm gonna click and drag on that bottom left area, just a touch. Let me go ahead and toggle that on and off and see how things are looking. And now I can even go down to that blue color. Maybe I wanna add some yellow to the highlights. So the opposite of blue is yellow. So I'm going to click and drag that highlights point down just a little bit to just add a very subtle touch of yellow. So if I toggle that on and off, you can see I've just added a nice subtle split toning effect, but it gives you a lot of control on how these colors are mixed and where they're being affected. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it helps you kind of understand how curves work and also gives you some ideas on how to use them with your own photographs. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this down the road.